In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect, uh, how to sign up to Amazon Cloud and how to connect this one to the CyberDuck. We have our browser. Here we're gonna type Amazon Cloud. Yeah. And this are the sponsored one that we don't need. Yeah, we need to find this link, yeah avs.amazon.com right we need to go to this link okay not amazon.com but avs.amazon.com okay here we press create an avs sound yeah and here we are gonna fill it with our information yeah, so we're gonna add the email address we are gonna add the account name yeah uh so you can you can do this by yourself and then i'm going to show you what happens when you press verify email address okay so i did add all the information press to verify email and verification code was sent to our email we need to check it and to add it here okay, we got our code we add it here we press verify yeah, and we are sent to create your password here we're gonna have Add some password. After you press continue, you are sent uh, to contact information inform uh, form that you need to fill. Uh, so I'm gonna fill all this data and I'm gonna pass all five steps. Um, so you should do the same thing, and I'm already gonna show you when I'll finish the registration on. Uh, Amazon Cloud website. Also, one more information before I finish um, the registration. You also need to add and the credit to our debit card number. So you'll need to use this information. Okay. After we finish it, the last step is to choose your support plan. You can just go with basic support free plan. Yeah, so you don't need to pay anything else. Yeah, and you need to press complete sign up yeah so after this we can go to our avs management console okay so you will need to log in yeah to use all the information that you used the email or so you should have your root user and then press next add the password and you're going to be sent to the dashboard i'm going to show you the next okay so after we sign it in we are in Amazon dashboard. So you are gonna have some kind of information here. You can just press next. Yeah, here it shows where you can find settings, now yeah. resources, and all other stuff. So what we will really need and with what we are gonna work is named in the services. Um let's type it here. It's named uh, bucket. You know, uh, so this is what you need S3. Yeah, I'm gonna make it as a favorite. You see, it's gonna appear here through this one. So you will need to go to your buckets. Yeah, there is gonna be some kind of information that you can use. Yeah, and you can start creating buckets. Yeah, so let's create, for example, our first bucket. We're going to name it Sample Bucket Sample. I'm just providing them some unique name. Um, here, these setups I'm going to show you later, or let's do it right now. So you need to choose ACL Enabled. And then here you need to choose Object Writer yeah, because uh, there is a new um update on the cyber duck this is the only way you can create the buckets on the amazon so every time you're going to create the bucket you need to do this manually from the amazon dashboard you'll need to go to the dashboard you need to provide the bucket name then you choose the region that you want yeah let's we're going to use the standard one ohio or you can use uh virginia it doesn't matter just choose acls enabled here, object writer. Here, we need to turn off the block all public accesses. 
we of course acknowledge acknowledge that the current settings might result and that this is going to become public this is what we need uh this we can leave as it is we don't need any settings yeah nothing else should be added here not in advanced yeah so everything is good you just need to press create the bucket so we have our first bucket created you see this is our first bucket and here you can see all the, your buckets yeah so the next thing that we need we need to connect um cyber duck to amazon yeah so what we need we need to go to the cyber duck we need to press new bookmark we can name it amazon and here we are going to choose uh, Amazon S3. Now, this is the type of connection that we are going to need. Then, yeah, so the next step is uh, we need to find uh, the credentials to connect it, them to the CyberDuck. So what we need to do, we need to find YAM. And this is... Um, we're gonna make it favorite, and here we're gonna have all our accesses. Oh, this is um, our dashboard, yeah. and you can find here quick links, and here we can find my security credentials. So I'm gonna go to this my security credentials. I'm gonna scroll a little bit, and as you see, we don't have any access keys. Yes, so we need to create access key. Of course, we understand. Creating a root key is not a best practice. Mm -hmm. So we create access key. And here we have our key. Yeah. Where we are going to add it here. Yes. And here we have our secret access key. This one we are going to add here. Yeah. Um, you can leave everything else as it is. Yeah, then we close it and we press two left clicks. And as you can see, we are sent to our bucket, example bucket, see, the one that we created. We can press two clicks on it and we are inside this folder. And to check if everything works, we have our test files that we are going to upload to our Amazon cloud. I'm gonna just yeah. So we have our HTML, we can copy URL and we are gonna check this URL. So you see at the moment there is some error, so access is denied. This means that the file we uploaded has security applied to this one, so it's not public for for everyone yes yeah, so we need to set this up also in so later this is going to work properly and everyone can see this uh information that we add to the cloud okay so the next thing that we need to do we need to go to our amazon cloud website we need to open our pockets this is the step that i forgot to tell you now you need to go to the pockets and here you have the permissions. You need to go to the permissions and you need to find to scroll down to access control list. Here we're gonna press edit and we are gonna add list to objects for everyone. Okay. That's I understand, and we're gonna save changes. Yeah, we're going to update now the page. You see, nothing is still updated, right? We need to check here, yeah. Also, one more thing that we need to check, we need to go to preferences and check that in our S3, we have here default SL as public read. Yeah, we're going to close it. We're going to delete all this information. You can just over all of this and delete. I'm just deleting this one by one. Yeah. And we are going to drop our files again to the folder. 
Yeah. So we have our link again. It's it's still the same link. We're gonna edit here, and you see, voila, everything works. Uh, so we need to make sure that here this setup for everyone public access is as list. And here in edit preferences, we need to make sure that S3 is public read. Okay. And that's all. That's everything you need to know in order to connect uh, Amazon Cloud to SuperDuck.